Hello guys, welcome back to yet another video. So even OnePlus 10 Pro started getting the June update and this video will talk about every change what this update brings on the table for OnePlus 10 Pro. We'll also talk about the battery backup, gaming and camera segment. So now without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here I have my OnePlus 10 Pro which I've already updated to the latest build. If I go to about section here, you can see Oxygen OS 14 version is .800 and this update brings 5th June 2024 security patch. I did not receive an OT update so I had to manually sideload the file. The update size was 932 MB. If you guys haven't received the OT update, you can find the link in the description below. And later on, just go to the Oxygen OS update section, tap on these three dots and select local install. And guys, now before moving ahead, if you guys like our content and if you think it's useful for you guys, then make sure to smash the like button and also consider subscribing to our channel. Now, before talking about the changes, I would like to mention an issue which I've noticed on this latest build and that's related to camera application. So here you can see the camera app version after this update is .507, previously which was .392. So there's slight upgrade in the camera app version. But one weird thing which I noticed, like whenever I open the camera application to click photos, there's a lot of color shifting when the camera app is opened. I mean to say in the preview section, which you can see, this is the screen recording which I did after updating the device and this looks quite bad. I don't think so it used to happen before but after this update I have noticed this thing with a slight movement or slight lighting change you can see a lot of color shifting. I hope OnePlus fixes this issue as soon as possible and you guys let me know whether this issue was previously available or not because I have observed this on latest build. In terms of camera quality there are no significant changes everything is exactly same with no doubt OnePlus 10 Pro has a very good camera you consider selfies, portrait or sceneries all the photos looks natural. Sometimes you'll get to see that hello effect while clicking some pictures and that we have seen on almost every OnePlus smartphone. So there's nothing new. Other than that, camera quality is quite good on OnePlus 10 Pro. But the only problem which I mentioned is that color shifting in the camera preview. And I've been using this device as my primary phone since yesterday in which I've done a lot of benchmark testing. I also did gaming. So let me show you the SOT here. I mean to say battery backup. So with so much of heavy tasking, this device delivered 3 hours and 34 minutes of SOT since it was fully charged. Currently, you can see the battery percentage is 6%. I personally felt this battery backup is slightly low on this latest build. But still, I'll be doing an in-depth review in which we'll talk about multiple battery cycles. And talking about overnight battery drain, you can see I left the device idle at 11 p.m. That time the battery percentage was 82. And when I woke up at 5 a.m., the battery percentage was 78%. So ideally 4% of battery drain we noticed in 6 hours which is decent enough. And now let's talk about the benchmark scores. I cannot compare it right now with the previous build because this device had to be reset due to some issues. So I don't have the stats of previous build. In future, we'll make sure we compare it with the previous builds. So here you can see benchmark scores using Geekbench application, single core scores 1634 and multi core scores are 3787. And talking about CPU throttling, so here I did notice a little bit of throttling issues on OnePlus 10 Pro. At least they are fixed now before OnePlus 10 Pro used to throttle a lot. And I also noticed slight improvements in the heating part. When I was performing these benchmark testing, I continuously monitored the temperature of the device and in my testing maximum temperature which went was around 43 degrees Celsius without AC. But still we'll get to know once we start using the device for longer run. With CPU throttling application, maximum CPU throttled up to 76%. We also performed wildlife extreme stress tests in which stability scores were 63%. As per the application, temperature went to 45 degrees Celsius. But in our testing, as I said, it did not go above 43 degrees Celsius. Also in the changelog, they have mentioned that they have improved the gaming stability. We did play a few TDMs in a limited time and we did not notice any kind of major frame drops. Device do handles 90 FPS pretty well. I always say like if your device remain cool, like keeping the temperature below 42 degrees Celsius, you'll constantly get 90 FPS while playing games like BGMI. We are not sure exactly at what temperature the FPS drops. That I'll keep you guys posted in a review video because generally if I do a review, I use that device for my gaming sessions also. So let's wait and watch. Overall gaming experience looks promising now. You get better FPS while playing game. And even in this build, we did not get to see the transparent background like OnePlus 12 series on quick setting tiles and even in the app drawer. I'm not sure such background will be coming to older OnePlus smartphones. Let's keep our fingers crossed and hope they add this thing in upcoming builds. And now talking about new add-ons, what OnePlus have done and the first one is layered to screen lock. So for example, if you use pattern for the screen lock, now you have the option to show or hide track while unlocking your device. And if you have disabled that show pattern option, this is how it looks. 
you don't get to see the pattern while unlocking your device. Later on, they have fixed the volume slider issue. Like if you have opened the quick setting panel and if you press the physical volume button, we also used to see the pop up of volume slider even in the quick setting tiles. Though OnePlus have given the tile of volume slider, still that pop up used to appear, but that has been fixed. So this used to appear in the quick setting tiles also. And later on they say they have fixed an issue where birthdays from contacts might not sync in the calendar event. So this is still an issue what I feel. So if I go to October, my brother's birthday is on 23rd and it still doesn't show me here in the calendar application. But you can see here it has been added in the contact application. So not sure whether this issue has been fixed for everyone. For me personally, it doesn't show up in the calendar application. And the last fix is layered to communication wherein they say they have fixed an issue when the device doesn't use to vibrate while an incoming call. I've never experienced that issue, but some users might have experienced and they gave their feedback as per the change logs that has been taken care so guys this was all about the latest build of oneplus 10 pro if you guys still have any kind of questions drop them in the comment section below i'll try to answer your questions in the review video as of now only this much in this video i hope you guys are gonna like the video if you like the video then do give us a thumbs up and also if you're new to a channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day